welcome back friends and viewers and yep today we got this beautiful martin d 35p a remarkable piece of equipment i'm not going to be reviewing it but i will be doing something incredibly bizarre something that shouldn't be done and um, i have no idea what it's going to sound like but i'm definitely definitely curious you're only going to know once you actually give it a try although the guitar sounds amazingly beautiful it was designed and it has been made with very heavy gauge strings, right? The idea behind it is it projects a very loud sound, very clear. I mean, if you're in the mood for creating an avalanche, then just hit that E chord or the G chord. Or, and yeah, that, that's incredibly, incredibly brutally loud. Problem is when you try to do bends, it's incredibly difficult at the same time when we've learned or well, we play a lot of electric guitar all my guitars are slinky eights so and i do love them because they there's a lot of control in the string and you can bend the crap out of them unfortunately you can't do that with these well you can if you had the hands of a monster you know if your hands are incredibly strong but now guys quick thumbs up for everybody who's actually practicing guitar and everything else you got to watch your hands make sure you've warmed up make sure you're doing exercises correctly right um this guitar and these kind of guitars require a lot of strength if you're doing correct you can cause irreversible damage to your hands for those guys that are squeamish look away because i'm going to be showing you my little finger oh, that huge bump on the finger is thanks to actually playing and doing exactly what i told you guys not to so make sure you've warmed up make sure you're playing comfortably and make sure you're not putting your hands under a lot of stress if you do want to play a heavy gauge there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever the i mean it's your choice the thing is make sure that you have strengthened up your fingers gradually right make sure you've gradually strengthened them up and uh, just don't dive in and start hammering hammering bombarding them and expecting them to actually just watch out right watch out just make sure you take care of your limbs and all your little fingers so you can run them as quick as you can along those goddamn fretboards we are going to be swapping out these for a set of slinky eights this guitar wasn't designed for that we normally play in a very controlled environment those strings are made for electric guitar and they're incredibly thin So given the sound should be thinner, right? It might be one of the dumbest ideas I've ever had. But you'll never know unless you've tried, right? So let's do it. A very, very long time later. We've got those goddamn slinky eights on this beautiful Martin. There were a couple of setbacks. The neck needed to be slightly readjusted as well because the tension, of course, as the tension changed from the heavy strings, they were buzzing they're still buzzing but i don't want to damage the fret rod so i just left it for now let's take a look at it right now what it has done is i fucking love it i love the way it sounds but it's gotten a lot easier to play it's not that loud anymore its bass has gone a lot less. It's gotten a lot brighter. But it feels unique. It feels interesting. Now the bending. Run down the pentatonic. So, experiment completed. I love the way it sounds, I love the way it feels. I'm going to play a little bit around with it, try and make some proper recordings with it and everything else. Try to mic it clearer, try different experimentations with the micing as well. All in all, it's not what you should do to this beautiful guitar. You should leave it with what the um, manufacturer wants. 
But um, as I mentioned before, I mean, I've been battling a lot with the heavy strings and um, it's just a... Just loving the light string feel. I wouldn't... Uh, It's a lot more difficult to get the sound you want out. It's kind of like a lot more intricate. It's like, it's much more delicate, you know what I mean? You want to get more bass out, you go to like, you got more control. I mean, I can get bass out. I can make it thinner. So, you got to be a lot more delicate it's no longer that buff, you know that no no now you got to be very careful on the nuances you're creating you know but very controllable it's very controllable now when we're strumming it playing just get carried away the whole thing every time you try you know every time you start playing something on this thing the way it plays now you just it just takes your way like it just you just I don't think I'm gonna end this video anyway it was a beautiful experiment and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed so you can't have the best of both worlds it sounds good it's beautiful to play it was beautiful to play before a lot easier on the fingers because they're softer um, sound has changed drastically it's lost a lot of its bass it's got a lot more high thin sound but yet it's it's just a beautiful adventure and um, I'm kind of eager to discover what this what I managed to come up with on this fretboard <laughs> 